Today we are going to talk about the settings of the Mi Band 4. Hi, this is Eric for Smartwatch Authority and this is a deep dive series for the Mi Band 4. To customize your Mi Band 4 and set it up to suit your usage, just go to your Mi Fade app and make sure it is paired already with your Mi Band 4. If you want to know how to do that, we will put a link in the description for the video. If you are now in the Mi Fit app, go to the profile and go to My Devices and select the Mi Smart Band 4 device which is your device. The first on the list is the band display. This serves as your watch face. Just select the watch face you want and install it. The unlock screen option, if you allow this, your phone will unlock if your device is near. Unfortunately, my phone does not have that option, so probably this works with other phones such as Xiaomi phones. You can also set the Mi Band 4 to vibrate if you have an incoming call. Although you can take the call from the watch because this does not have a speaker or a microphone. You will still have to take the call from your phone. The event reminder serves as a reminder app, so you can add a reminder from here and set the time and date of the reminder. For the alarm, you can set different alarms and customize the days when to repeat the alarm, and you can add as many alarms as you want. The app alert is just like your notification and you must be paired with your phone to get those notifications. Tap on manage apps down here to choose which you want to receive notifications to your watch. Idle alert is the move reminder that alerts you when you are sedentary for an hour. You can also set the time when to start and when to stop giving you reminders. If you want to read SMS on your watch, you may also enable this with these settings. and set fitness goals for yourself as well. In case you misplace your Mi Band 4 and it is paired and connected to your phone, you can tap this to vibrate your device. Just wish you can hear it vibrate if it's on the table. If you turn on this option, your Mi Band 4 will be visible with other devices and your step data will be visible from other device. You can also set where you want to wear the watch, either on your left or your right wrist. You can also set the display info gesture and set the time when it will be enabled. For your heart rate sensor, you can set it to detect your heart rate to automatic detection with a sleep assistant which detects your sleeping pattern. And since you don't need to keep looking at your heart rate, you can also set it when it will detect your heart rate like every 1 minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or every 30 minutes. The frequent it is, the more battery it will consume. But if you're closely monitoring your heart rate, that's why you have the closest frequency. You can also enable the Mi Band 4 to automatically detect your activity which enables the watch to detect your heart rate more frequently than set. You can also set it to alert you when a certain heart rate while you will last 10 minutes even without any activity. The band will vibrate to alert you that your heart rate is high. You can set it to 100 or to 150. Night mode will be set at the time you wish to start it and will lower down the brightness of the screen automatically. The display setting shows the widgets that you see when you swipe down and up but I guess for now you can change this. Maybe there are updates later that you can add more widgets. Weather settings just let you set your location and the unit you want to use. Lab option makes you lock your band and set a pin to unlock it. But it's kind of annoying pushing numbers every time you lift your wrist in a very small screen. You can make your Mi Band 4 exclusive to your phone and do not let other device pair with it by enabling this option. The next are self-explainable where you check for updates and number of the firmware versions, Bluetooth address if you need that. So if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button now and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified with our next videos. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching.